All right. Recon, you going to do it or are you just going to... We're waiting on you, man. sponsored by McDonald's. <laughs> ba, da, 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 da. I'm <laughs> loving it. Did right. <laughs> so, you guys record an episode before this? Recon, we're starting right now. Are we? Yes. yes. We're going. It's I'm, rolling. I'm asking... I'm waiting you for you to do the intro. Are you going to do the intro? Did you record episode 36 or not? No. Because you said you had something uh, planned for Monday. No. Okay, hello oh. viewers and potential subscribers, you're watching episode number 36 <laughs> of the Crate Room Podcast. Welcome. Just like, I'm over here hello. looking at Recon, like, he's over here asking, like, I told, go, go, go. <laughs> We're having a whole you're questionnaire welcome. before the start of the episode. This is not the Q&A episode, Recon, you can't even ask me questions. I was like, I wanted to make sure I get plus. the number right, because I usually get it wrong, you know, I, like, I say, welcome to episode number, and this I get, like, 36. confused. This yeah, will be 36. episode 36. God, I want two thousand dollar, a two thousand dollar forge contest from Forge Hub. Where did that come from? Um, it's just dollars. Yeah, it's to yeah, make it's... like a to make a a super fiesta map. <laughs> I was like, what? Bro, yeah, what? Of all things, a super fiesta map. So you basically well. just make a four v four map and just pray it plays well with super fiesta. Pretty much. The thing is, since it's made for super fiesta Slayer, it has to be like goofy enough, but play well enough. So it has to look nice. It has to look beautiful. And has to appease to the people that will actually judge the contest, I think, the most as well. Yeah. You can't just make something. Because even if you make the most nicely balanced map, if it looks shit, it's not going to win the contest. Like, uh, it's gonna, it's not gonna win. Yeah. I've got some tricks up my sleeve for that contest, so it'll be. I think oh, yeah. the map will be good. I have, I have my map designs over here. I have my don't sketches. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Giving some people ideas. I've got my Ice trackers, dude. Whoa, 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 whoa. IQ level are not high enough to read Actually, this, Alaskan you know? loggers, Ian. I'll have you know. Oh, is but it? They, this... they do not all this shit. Well, I've got my. I had mine on this tiny little slip of paper. <laughs> Can't see it. But. Uh, <laughs> like, dude, I guess I'll, I got a forge now, too. I got a forge as well. Yeah, I got a forge something real quick. I, got a I mean, you guys something. might as well, right? There. If you could figure out the I mean, I've never forged anything. Well, just gotta buy some coal, weird. get some good metal. That's kind of interesting, though. It. Like, I mean, to me, like wanting to forge is like, bro, it's a no-brainer. But like, is right. it just that you guys have no interest in that sort of thing? Or no I just, interest. I saw that I don't have interest. Is that I don't have like the creative capability? I guess I don't know. Hmm. Because like yeah, I've I, I, I've had somewhere. ideas. I've had ideas for like maps, but like never. I've never been able to like make a good layout for him, I guess. So I'm like, I right, forget it. Whatever, I won't. I won't forge. Mm. Yeah, I do agree. Layout is probably the hardest thing to nail down. Like once you have the layout, you can do the theme around it and make it look nice. Yeah. And sometimes the, the theme kind really of starts. influences the layout too. Like if you're like, oh, I want oh, this a certain theme, like you know, if you have like a theme that's very square, you know, it's like okay, well the layout's mm -hmm. gonna be kind of square too. <laughs> I was gonna start making some videos on like entitle them. If you want to forge an infinite, watch this video or kind of like crap like that, you know? <laughs> no, are you joking? Yeah, just click me once. <laughs> but I actually give people like proper tips. I just like spaced on... out there. I'm gonna be real with you. I was just kind of like. We, yeah. we need the Ian cam. Ian, what do you yeah, think about I'm, that? I'm, like, this <laughs> is Ian. this is a little bit obscure. Like, a bit like no, nobody, like, like no one's okay. gonna know about this. Like, I'm sorry. Like, it's <laughs> like it's so like. A forge contest on a like, dead game. Let's okay. Plus, like, I, 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 I don't think that the it's just so like it is two thousand so, dollars. Like, it's a lot of money. First place yeah, yeah, it's, still, like, it's just so like what the fuck? I'll, <laughs> take, I'll up two thousand dollars. I'll take it. Sheesh. But I'm sure it's gonna get like a lot of old forges to come back to pay the five. Like I feel like a lot of old maps will come into it though. Like no, I feel like a lot of things. It has to be a fresh map. Yeah, That's they're not allowed map. to. Yeah, they're not allowed. Mm. Yeah, it's it's interesting. Mm. Yeah, it's it's kind of bad timing because I already made like eight infection maps <laughs> before the contest started, so it's like I had a lot of like things I could have potentially used as a material, but yeah, the contest kind of just came out randomly. Def no, I think no one was expecting that. No. Definitely was. I was. No, it's, it's, it's I was the last expecting one another Forge contest for like Halo Five. Are you kidding Infinite, me? So, but hmm. anywho, I shut my Xbox off. <laughs> <laughs> so McDonald's so <I> was... guys, <laughs> like, yeah, this is McDonald's. <laughs> McDonald's sponsored Sponsor. by McDonald's. I wish, bro. Dun, 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 dun. Dun. I have. I, Where's Caleb? What I do you have need a. Him, uh, he just joins. Yeah. He's like, you guys dare summon me, McDonald's. <laughs> 
I mean, okay. McDonald's, man. There's the order I have at McDonald's. I get the big breakfast <clears throat> with the pancakes and the everything and a large French vanilla iced coffee. Exactly $7, baby. So good. <laughs> and Americans wonder why they're fucking fat. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's I, like when, when a salad costs more than a happy, yeah. and like, like and stuff. That shit would like cost you an arm here. Like, Holy Jesus. shit, guys. It's Giovanni. Fuck. What are you talking to? <laughs> All right, I was Eaton, I can play Why are you playing I'm Pokemon in... Go on the podcast? Yeah, man. Yeah. Why? My strange addiction. I'm going nuts. My strange addiction, you're, dude. You're, you're, you're I, dude, down. I'm addicted to going out on walks and getting physically fit and then, like, playing Pokemon Go. <laughs> I mean, that's fire. That's fair. Like, if you had no Pokemon Go, would you still go on your walks? <laughs> yeah, no, no, I would, but... It, like, I, I still... I went on them beforehand, but, like, now I have reasons to go out on, like, multiple walks. Because it's like, dude, I gotta get my Pokeballs, dude. <laughs> Speaking of going out on walk. walks, dude... Uh, Yeti knows this because I sent streaks. Uh, but, like, this morning, I went out on my walk, and, like, ha about halfway through, I I was, like, walking down the sidewalk, and then this guy, like, th I like he was, like, shirtless, he was, like, tweaking out, he was, like, fuck! <laughs> fuck! <laughs> really? <laughs> fuck! No, I'm not even, I'm not joking. I was gonna record it, but, like, he was, like, looking at me, and he's, like, I don't want to point my <laughs> camera at him, and then he gets pissed off, because he was also saying, I'm gonna fuck someone up! I'm gonna fuck <laughs> someone up! <laughs> oh, but he's, I'm sure, sure he was, like, tweaking out, he was losing it right was he shirtless was... too yeah he was shirtless oh, okay i'm not sure yeah. you said that i was like i'd imagine was him he all... ripped yeah no he was, was he, ripped, was he like junkie jack you know how junkies he was are kind of like yeah he's like junkie jack. Jack. yeah, he like junkie jack. Jack. yeah. <laughs> he's, like, he's, he's, yeah, he's like he's got zero he's got zero percent body fat because he doesn't eat food but he's got like muscle <laughs> you know <laughs> right right yeah, it's because he's so like dehydrated so like, just, like i'm just like I'm sitting just, like, here explodes. and it's like I, i'm just i'm like walking down the sidewalk and then he starts like following me and he's like fuck fuck and i'm like <laughs> I, I i kept like looking back and it's like don't fucking do anything he eventually fucked off and i was like dude what the fuck is this guy's problem Bro, jesus this is why everyone carries a gun in america i guess they're just like yeah, stuff right. like that no we yeah people like that are here as well but uh, not. freaking out and shit. You guys probably like, have yeah. police that actually help you. <laughs> yeah, yeah we told them. Yeah. Hey, over so... here, if you go, if you get caught with like a toothpick in your pocket, you get arrested. <laughs> it's not allowed I've to heard like what's form. crazy with like London is like you can't have anything, and that's why there's like all these acid attacks or whatever, because people like, can't much. have knives or scissors. They're like, oh, uh, let me get some sulfuric acid. It's like what? Um... <laughs> A few years ago, my friend got detained for having um, pepper spray in a bag. What the hell? So, Dude, come on. Yeah. Like, you literally can't have any form of uh, self-defense weapons on, in this country. Like, you're, you're probably better off getting robbed, you know, <laughs> than have a weapon <laughs> in your so first. So, so terrible. Don't, Don't let him you... catch you, lol. <laughs> Don't let him catch you. I remember on... Uh, uh... Top Gear, like, years and years ago, they, like, compared the British police to the American police, and they were talking about, like, American police ramming into, like, cars they're chasing, you know? I don't even, yeah. we might have watched on here, I forget, but the guy, the cop that ran into that truck at, like, 109 miles an hour and, like, killed the, the suspect, Dude. you know? <laughs> but then it showed, like, the British, the nobles, like, this guy got killed! <laughs> like, he's laughing at two Dude! <laughs> oh, my goodness. But then, like, the British police, they're, like, Box him in and slowly like take him to the side of the road. Like it's so they proper. To, they have to like get a cons like, what is it like, like a, a consent form? Yeah, yeah, almost like that to fucking do it. Like they're not allowed to just do it. You know, all willy nilly. That has to be approved by their like their sergeant or whatever. Yeah. Sergeant, I've got him on my sights. Can I ram into him? <laughs> <laughs> no, not in America. No, America. No, in America, it's like fucking pit maneuver, <laughs> make him spin out, <laughs> blow out all his tires, fucking walk up to the Spike door, trap. shoot the guy. It's like, all right, we got him. Like, he's trap, like, un he's like unconscious like in the car. Like he, his nose up. is bleeding. He clearly has trauma, and he's like, bam, bam, bam. All right, we got him. People, the cops, the cops are. Well, I saw this all thing. the tires been shot out. The cars like flipped <laughs> it's on fire. <laughs> it's smoking. Fire. The guy's just in there, like, oh, quit oh, resisting, quit oh, resisting. Runs over like you know, Stop massive resisting. fucking police off. Stop resisting. <laughs> 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 no, I mean, I think it's like this in Canada too, and I definitely know it's in the U.S. But it's like tra traffic stop. Guys, like, I don't want to get out of my car. They're like, 
<laughs> break in your window. Oh, you break the window and rip you out. It's like, what the <laughs> hell, man? A little bit uh, excessive force. No, nah, just, no, 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 no. Just, just a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good like you old USA tree. name. <laughs> Double laughing. A guy dying in 109 miles I, an hour. I, 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 it's just such a funny miles. concept. It's <laughs> <laughs> thing to happen. <laughs> This thing's like a Michael Bay movie over there. <laughs> it was gnarly. Do we watch that clip? Do I need to fill it up? Do we see it? No. I don't know if we've seen it now. I at least I have. Give me a second. Are we allowed to watch people dying? <laughs> well, you don't. This doesn't show it explicitly. Hold on. Yeah. No, just half his fucking skull is missing. <laughs> I mean, millions of people die every day. It's fine to watch. It. You ever seen oh. someone with half their skull missing? I haven't, but I I don't want to. I've seen a freshly dead body before. It's pretty not fun. Yeah. No, it's not fun at all. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to find the part. Dude, this is like They like he like ra like the cop car rams into him. Like it's not like it's not like a gentle like nudge, it's like a Well fucking... I think he <laughs> let me look oh, at it. Him. What's funny about it beforehand is like the camera inside the car. It, it it flies out from the back seat and then just cuts to them working on it in the shop. Like they just like recovered it from like it's like a black box recording or something. Goodness, the line. Not back to reality. <laughs> right, I'm gonna back. probably I'm gonna t do a no volume on it because it's kind of got a bunch of car noise. So right. Share it. YouTube. Boop. Beep boop boppy. And so basically, watch. Do you guys see it? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Watch the. Uh, so there's two car. The one in the corner right here is the car, that's gonna the cop car is gonna ram him, and then the one that's the big screen is the car tailing him. Hundred seven, hundred thirteen. Look at this, and he's gonna go. Pit maneuver. <laughs> Good. I a hundred seventeen. Look at this. Joking, man. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Did like, you see it cut to the shop? Hold on, you guys see it cut to. The like, oh my god. Oh, I didn't mean to full screen it. Uh -huh. Dude, you see the cop car, like, he's legit flying See, then here. it cuts to the one they're working on it back in the... <laughs> uh, Let's see if we can... Here's the full screen of just the view of the cop. They're like, fuck it! <laughs> no. fuck it. Why would you do that? <laughs> it makes oh the god. light bulb. <laughs> I don't think they expected a cop to flip like that. Slow motion. I think, where's the... Yeah, the back seat cam. I love that, dude. I don't know. It's just funny to me. See, <laughs> look at the jumper cables fly up. Just zero gravity space. <laughs> Jesus. So then here's the aftermath. Look at the truck, oh dude. Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> and so there's a... I mean, there's shouldn't a be laughing, but it's just like, holy shit. <laughs> no, I don't want to add for un unlisted or whatever it unlisted <laughs> This game I mean, so it's just oh my God. over the top, overly aggressive, untrained it's... police officers that work here. Like, so there's a guy he, he runs over and look, he goes, nah, nah, he's dead. Like he goes, like, nope, <laughs> like there's no point. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> he's yeah, like, alive. No. The cop no. survived though. The cop is alive. The guy in the truck <laughs> though is fucking dead. <laughs> he got killed. I've never seen that Dude, ever. God. Look how fat these Imagine cops the are guy. too. Oh my god, yeah. The guy the truck is now. still alive and they're just like, no, nah, no, nah, let, let him die. Let him die. Let him bleed out. Yeah, well, let's get another one. We called an ambulance but we can't do anything by ourselves, guys. Let's just wait. Let's go watch it one more time. Holy shit. I wonder where this... Oh, this was um, Arkansas, so yeah. <laughs> Holy! I love what it takes out the pole. I don't know what it is. It's just like <laughs> so insane, and then it cuts. <laughs> this to this guy is... Oh, and I'll be right back. I'll be right back. What? what the fuck? Jesus, For like five oh. seconds, all right? Give me like five seconds, all right? Jesus. Bruh moment right here. One oh. second has passed. Bruh moment. This is when we That's need the Ian cam, the replacement cam, to him. Just... Yeah. He used to have like um. A car would cut out of him in the background, so when he leaves, you can just see the car. It's just like it duplicates. He, no, he needs yeah. like a green screen background, so when he gets up, it's just him again. Mm. He, he duplicates. <laughs> like sitting your mouth open, like. And then he moves out of the <laughs> way. It's like two of him. <laughs> 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 oh, 
Double-headed Ian. <laughs> I'm back. As far as Hello. Cloud Crushes go, that was one of the better ones. I like that one. Yeah, that was fucking but insane. Was <laughs> you were giving us a hard time about watching them before. You're like, this is so sad yeah, and depressing. before they were, like, weak. I, I need to see... They were weak. You need to see 109 and miles an hour. You need to see someone die, dude, is what, <laughs> yeah. is what Recon's really saying. I, like, I've seen so many, so much death and chaos oh my in my God. life that... Nothing moves well, obviously. me anymore. It's like I need something strong to. <laughs> he's seen. Uh, he's yeah, like, going. <laughs> dude, what's the oh, worst like, thing you've seen? Oh, God, recon. What's the worst thing you've seen? Recon. Yeah, recon. Recon. And he's like, I've seen so much death and destruction in my I'm life. Not, I don't think I'm allowed to say. <laughs> what do you mean you're not allowed to say? Is uh, it classified information. No, it's just gruesome, and I don't think. I think there's a to say. dude. There's a fucking laser pointing already? at your forehead, dude. What the fuck? Wait, where'd that laser come from? It's like a what like, the uh, fuck? Uh, <laughs> 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 every now and then, you know, they come and go. <laughs> but you just well, you can't go. Into, you can't just be broad like, oh, I saw someone get get their arm cut off or something, you know. Um, like you don't have to go into detail. I saw a video. Oh, this one's gruesome. I saw no, a I'm video of a guy's body getting run over by a tank, and it's it, it was like a treat and. A tube of toothpaste with like his intent, like all of his blood just coming out of the top of his head, kind of thing. Holy where the car was just, <laughs> where the tank was just running over the guy, starting from the feet, and like all of his insides was losing, flying out of his mouth. Yeah. Oh my god! I saw. I'm talking about like real no. life though. Like, if you, oh, yeah, I'm talking about real life, life though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is there, have you seen anything? Is it just all online, Recon, or is it stuff in I IRL? A, I saw a guy get run over once. Oh, not yeah. like, not like fifty miles an hour kind of run over. Um, not like one hundred and nine miles. An... No, I was on a bus and it was an intersection, and I saw a guy trying to like run across the red light, and the car just rammed into it, the back of his leg as he was running, so he just clipped his leg, <laughs> oh. and he went spinning into the ground. So oh, his body just went <laughs> to the side. <laughs> And I'm not gonna lie, I did laugh when I saw that. I was like, yeah, because it's just like that. it's like slapstick, you know? It's just. It's comedy. Like, that's what you get for running a red light. That's exactly why we have li lights. <laughs> worst thing, worst thing that I've seen personally, uh, was just like, you ever see like someone with like, uh, diabetes or like gangrene or like anything like that with like their like a with, like a limb rotting away or whatever. Oh my! You ever gosh. see that? Well, no. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that that it's it's really it smells as bad as it looks too. It's like <laughs> yeah, you've seen some bad stuff since you were EMS. Yeah, have you seen? Because I have a friend. Well, I'm not like super friends with him, but I know a guy who does EMS, and he was like, "I've seen babies die." Like he's seen some horrible like. I've stuff. seen babies die. No, I luckily <laughs> I've never seen a baby die. Thank God, dude. If I, I would uh, I'd be in a rut for a very long time if I saw a child die, dude. Oof. I've seen adults dead, but um, I've never no, I've never had anyone smiling. What no one's like. <laughs> I've never um I've never had someone. No, actually, that's a lie. I have had one person die on me, but it wasn't. I wouldn't it even say it was fault. on. No, it was. I wouldn't even say like. It was on me though, because like the firefighters wouldn't let us. Like the firefighters got there first. And then they were like, no, let us just keep doing the CPR. And it's like, you're not even, like, I think someone love. pointed out, like, I'm pretty sure we pointed out, like, that they were doing it wrong. But it's like, just get, get us the oxygen and all that shit. And it's like, I'm like, whatever. Mm. I, I I mean, to be fair, I think the guy was dead before any of us got there anyway. Like, it's not like, I don't think we could have saved him. But it's just, I'm, I keep, I think about it every now and then. And it's like, could I have made a difference guy... if, like, I was the one doing CPR instead of, like, these you know, monkey brains doing the CPR? Maybe. I don't know. I want to ask the question because, like, there's a lot of, um, like, there's, it's kind of like a thing in a gray area for me. A lot of people, like, say oh, it works, it doesn't. Do you guys, like, if, if there's a guy, like, very close to dying, but he's, like, still kind of, like, clinging on life, but you know he's about to die, do you ever use, like, the defibrillator to kind of, like, bring him back? No. Uh, defib is, defib is for... When you're dead, isn't it? No, it's when, yeah, you don't, you don't shock a, you know, you don't, you wouldn't shock a beating heart. It's no, if the heart just is laughing. No, yeah. <laughs> no, but, like, uh, here, like recons, like he finds all this bad stuff funny, and then he's over here <laughs> dying laughing. And, like, <laughs> no, you don't. You don't shock a. You don't shock a beating heart. It's only if they're um and like a lot of uh defibrillators now. Like you'll put it on their chest or whatever, and then it'll tell you. It's like yeah, you want to shock it? Go ahead, press the button, and then it'll shock for you. Um. Mm. Huh, also, but, do they uh, ever do like the? 
I, I, that's it? archaic as hell. I don't think that's the rule okay. anymore. Like, it's not a thing anymore. Because now it's more like, so you, you have to get tape on. And touch my fucking thing and just charge it up like... <laughs> <laughs> no, so, what, for... It's like a wind-up radio or something? Field, yeah. What we use in the field, um... It's like, it's like a little, like, it's like a little lunchbox or whatever. It's not that big at all, but, like, it's a little, like, pack and has, like, sticky pads. And you put, like, one over the heart and then, like, one, like, one here, like, over your heart, oh, no, where your heart balls. is. And then, like, one, like, he, it's, I no, it has to be on the left side here as well. Somewhere, like, somewhere here, like, not too far under, on, on, like, your rib area. But I think it's on the left side. But they have, like, instructions on it, so. When, when that time comes. I've noticed that, like, businesses now carry more defibs in their places because at least mm -hmm. in, a, I mean, in most first world countries, like, the number one killer is heart attacks and things heart, like heart that. Attack. And so if you have a defib in the building, you know, almost anybody can, can save someone else's life. Yeah. So. Have you ever licked a defib before? No. No? No. Ever, ever wanted to? No. No? Okay. I'm, sure, uh, I'm sure the sticky pads are not very... Tasty. Yeah. What's the what's the voltage like on those? I uh, dude, I don't know, man. <laughs> Rika's like, I'm gonna try and build my own. <laughs> build it. Rika's yeah, like, hello. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, defibs. It's like Battlefield Three. You just gotta charge it up, and if you res, if you hit someone, then they get more health <laughs> when they come back. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They return like, strength they can be, stronger than ever. <laughs> they can be filled with bullets, hold like riddle, but like just yeah. They get, guy gets shot in the head, it's fine. I've got this guy. This man got killed. I got this, guy. this man got blown up by a tank. I've got him. I got him. I got him. Don't worry. <laughs> Missing his leg? Yeah, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> You're just slurping with his McDonald's as well. It's like. Uh, no. 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I was going McDonald's today, man. Oh, that's where you went. Oh, yeah. No. I didn't even really right, get into my brain. I'm so dumb. <laughs> Sponsored, man. Uh, bah, 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 bah. I like how the, the saturation or the contrast, like, it's so bright on the cup. Like, it's so hard to yeah. see the M. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh! It's like, look at that. It's so bright. Here, it's, it's fine. Underneath my underneath my beard, it'll be visible. <laughs> oh, that, dude, that McDonald's sprite hitting different right now. Shit. <laughs> Regular show deep. I'm like I'm evaporating <laughs> as we speak. It's like oh. <laughs> trying to find some. What is Recon doing this? off to the side here? What is he? Yeah. What is he looking for? I give up. His Happy Meal toys. Yeah, no, I'm a Happy Meal boxes. You know, I can just like quickly put Happy Meal. Boxes Are you like a hoarder, like... Recon? <laughs> no, like some Happy Meal boxes have like real, real nice and um, pictures on them, so I keep them as a room. Of course, I'm over here. Them. I wanted to keep. I'm not sure if you guys eat cinnamon toast crunch cereal, the best cereal of all time. Best cereal. Uh, of um, but on recently on the backs they had the big cinnamon toast crunch faces. Like they would be different faces. And oh, I, I was yeah. tempted to like compile all of them and make like a huge like mural of all the different faces on there, like hanging up on the wall. That'd be know? cool. But I think they don't do it anymore. Unfortunately. Feels back bad. in the day. That was like when I still lived in Poland. When I was like ten years old. Uh, we used to have those. Um, there was this Chris band called. Um, well, I think. It still exists. Geo still exists, yeah. Um, and we used to have like <clears throat> Pokemon tokens in them. Have you guys ever heard of like, what was it called? It wasn't like GoGo Pokemon. Click Click Tazo, I think. Tazo uh, coins. No, no clue Tazo. what you're talking about. It's a Click Click Tazo. So it was like a little thing with a Pokemon picture on it, and you would click it, it would make like, a little sound, like a click click click. So it was like a piece of metal basically that made a clicking sound when you pressed on it. And had a picture of a Pokemon. It was like a collectible that. Oh yeah, those things. I remember those click. Those like it changes the picture, you know. Oh yeah, was, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, now those, I know yeah. what you're talking about. Yes, yeah, yes, I know yes. what you're talking. Yeah. About. I didn't realize those were called that. Yeah, I no, think they were called I've, click I've click never. Never. Let me heard Google it right now. Click. How do you? Click how do you spell Tazo? I want to. I want to go back to the cereal boxes. Click. I want to. I want to go back to the cereal boxes real quick. Y'all remember like. Uh, huh. what were those um nobles falling asleep? Uh, what what was it that was on like the cereal boxes, like the little post box? Uh, what were those called? And like you would like put them in at school, the little um you'd cut mm. them off like on the uh on the cereal box. What the fuck were those called, dude? 
I remember we having did. a million of them, and it's like I would just like turn them in at like once a year, like one big handful of like the. Uh... What's funny? I know exactly what you mean. I just don't remember the name. Tazo's coming. It's like a tea brand that I drink. Tazo uh, <laughs> Classic Chai Latte. Shout out. Hell yeah. <laughs> What? You type in Tazos with an S at the end. Recon, you know, you know what I'm talking about, right? I, totally like, I know what you're talking about. What like, I don't know what they are called. Lunchbox. I have no idea what they are called. It was basically like little coupons that you redeem. Like, yeah. Like, a bunch of them. Oh, you're talking about like the tabs? Like, yeah, they cut the... Yeah, what, what were those called? Oh my gosh. You... Uh, uh, uh... <laughs> like, we're too old at this point. Oh, uh, they're like little purple screens. things. Yeah, they, they're like little... Uh, like a pink or fuchsia or whatever the fuck, and they had like the they had like a pencil on it, and it's like, yeah, turn this in at school. Dude, I had like I had like hundreds of tassels when I was little. I'm I'm pissed I don't have them anymore because those things were awesome. And back in the day as well, when there were only like two generations of Pokemon, so every single tassel would actually recognize the Pokemon that you had on it. But nowadays, it's like you see a picture of a Pokemon online, it's like, what the fuck is that Pokemon? Like, it's oh, box it's from Gen Seven. It's like there's Thank seven you. generations of Pokemon. Oh, you found it's it. eight box tops. For education, yeah. For education, there's uh, there are eight of them, uh, eight eight generations currently. Wait, I'll be right back. I need to find what? it. <laughs> I think uh, I still have one. He's like rummaging room, through so. his things. He's like, Noble Geo box like tops. No, don't even know what that is. It's like a thing on a bot, like on different cardboard it. boxes that it. you would. I have it. So it's those things. Yeah. And it's I... like it's a piece of metal and you click in it. And it makes like a little noise. Probably can't hear it, but... I can barely hear it. <laughs> yeah. It's a very old one. What Pokemon is, is this? Surskit? Huh, yeah, Turnus Surskit. Coast? Yeah, it's Surskit. Yeah. Mm. And it has like the things in the back. And those used to be in um, Chris Packets. In Poland. Huh. But they don't do that anymore. It's like... Such a waste. Of, if they were to do this again, like everyone will buy this crisp. I can yeah, I feel you. like back in the day they used to have like even the toys in the cereal boxes, and they don't do those anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember they had like little lightsabers, I, like, the little, lightsaber little, spoons, little lightsaber Dude, spoons, the lightsaber spoon. Yeah. <laughs> we Fuck still have yeah, a lightsaber man. spoon, I think. I don't know mm -hmm. what happened to those. I used to have them, but then I, I they must have gotten thrown away or something. But I remember. Yeah, them, it's yeah. a shame when you have like toys that if you had them right now it brings so much nostalgia, but you know you had them, but you just can't. Find them because they don't exist anymore. <laughs> like I went to a, when I was on vacation, went to an antique store in um, off the Mississippi River, man. Let's go, mm -hmm. and um, they had a bunch of Beanie Babies, and I found a bunch of Beanie Babies that I had when I was younger, and I was like, bro, the waves of nostalgia flowing back from Beanie Babies. I'm actually on eBay right now looking <laughs> at Pokemon Tazo, see if I can buy a bundle of them, <laughs> sell yours, and make a fortune. Yeah, I mean, would would you wouldn't be surprised? Because like, for example, no, the surprised. shiny Charizard cards, how how much does it go for? Like, half a million dollars or something like that. That old Charizard card. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, you guys should know. You guys are more know more about Pokemon than I do. I don't know about. I know the about economics the of games. Pokemon. <laughs> I know about the <laughs> games, not. <laughs> I don't know about the socioeconomic stability of Pokemon cards. <laughs> oh, you should, because you can make a fortune out of it. Like, I do kind of follow. I do kind of follow the uh, Pokemon cards just because, like, it's fun. Uh, in, in a sense of like watching people open the packs and all that, but like. Yeah, I do that too. I it, it's just, you know, to me it's like okay, well, you know, that's cool, I guess. It's just one of those things that I kind of watch, and I'm like, oh, yeah, that's... Like that's when a guy fun. gets a shiny, like a rare card, it's like, oh, good for yeah, him. Yeah, it's like, whoa, 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 I don't know how to play any of it. Like, I don't know what any of the card does. I don't uh, know how yeah, no, I, no, I, yeah, I have, no clue. Yeah. Dude, I, I have no, no idea. idea how to play. Same with people that play Yu-Gi-Oh cards, like, oh, they cool, look cool. Oh, I used to I used to play Yu-Gi-Oh, though. Like, I, I know how to do Yu-Gi-Oh. Bakugan. Bakugan. Yes. What the heck was that? Was Bakugan one of like the little um circles with like robots that transform out? Yeah, them? and they transform yes. on the cards. Yeah. yeah. My cousin used to play a lot of that. 
I remember my cousin I remember Chaotic as well. Chaotic it was like the show. Oh like, yeah, 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 yeah. And then they like transform into the creatures. That was fun. Mm-hmm. My cousin Digimon uh, got... was cool. Remember? Go ahead. I remember Citrus Mon. Was Digimon? It was Citrus Mon. It was like a giant orange with sunglasses. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I have a story of my cousin going to a shop. My his parents gave him like money to go and buy like a bunch of groceries, and he came back with a. 200 that, that was my currency by the way like 200 uh, box of uh, bakugan bots or whatever and he just came back home like so proud he was like i don't know nine years old or whatever oh, when wow. he came back home his parents were pissed because <laughs> like uh... in poland you're not like my family is not rich in poland it's like it's a big struggle and all of that when he came back like this big ass toy of bakugan cards and toys they were like Pretty much grounded Bro. them for a month uh, uh. and did not trust them for no, uh. a very long time. <laughs> um, Beyblades, remember Beyblades? I still have my Beyblade. Yeah. I never I got into Beyblades. I don't have my Beyblades. There was Bay anymore, Wheels man. too. I used to host it's... like a tournament at my school with Beyblades. Yeah, <laughs> tell the story of that. I I remember you telling. You guys are getting like that. all hyped about Beyblades. <laughs> yeah, we had like um, there was like this water fountain, right? And we had like you know the Beyblades. Spinning around in there and like a different team. <laughs> the water I still have the original, what's yeah, called? in the water fountain. The Draiga. Guys, remember that um, one mm-hmm. from the no. original um, Beyblade series? Then, like, what was it? We, um, I remember, like, in the finals, they wanted me to do like the fucking like final like battle, I guess. So we had like combined our Beyblades on the team <laughs> to make the ultimate Beyblade. We won the tournament, so that was cool. Hell yeah. <laughs> And those tournaments are always like when you're a kid, the rules change like every round. Like, okay, guys, no to this. Like, it's always just so like it's so chaotic. They work. They were consistent. Really? Back really in my just, day, like, uh, had... I was just like, okay, we spin at the same time, and the the last guy to stand is the winner. Like that was pretty much it. <laughs> I think the only rule was to not use like metal attachments on the outside of your Beyblade because you used to be able to like buy those. Um, I don't know what they were called, but. When you open up the Beyblade, you have like different parts of it. So like yeah, this and then part you have and like riddle. the metal ring, yeah. Yeah, you had this thing, but then people would put like attachments on them where they have like little spikes coming out of it. So like yeah. any plastic Beyblade would just get annihilated by it each time. So there was just a rule like you're not allowed to use that because it would just mess <laughs> up no, everyone's Beyblade straight away. We didn't do anything like that. They just had like the fucking I remember they uh, made the protective the, uh... ring on. That was pretty much they made the yeah. metal Beyblades like a fish, an official thing. Eventually, like they just made like the metal Beyblades. And yeah, those shits were cool. that's what um, at my school we we used to just always play soccer in the gym, like just kicked from one side of the gym to the other, and kids would throw their they would like spin their Beyblades across the whole gym. I'm like, what is wrong with these guys? Like, what, just... is it? what is wrong? With but those them? were the metal ones because I always they were just so like hard, you know. Like, yeah. <laughs> no, we when just... you try to like pick them up or whatever, like when it was still spinning. Like this one, if it was spinning at full speed, I could pick you up very easy. But the metal one would probably like break metal your fingers. Metal one <laughs> fucking hurt, dude. No, you would just uh, put your like finger on top of the like the symbol or whatever, and it would stop spinning. No way. Flies in fours, and it would be fine. So I'm going to do it. Not sure, no, dude, it's Ron, man. It's Ron, it's Ron, Ron man. It's my favorite Ron, man. No, no, we're not doing show and tell. Stop. Uh, <laughs> not show and tell. No, stop. we can't stop it. It's begun. <laughs> No. Oh, Censored. Go. It's gonna be blurred. Blur out everything. <laughs> Fine. This is my dog. This is my son. Oh. We all know that's not your dog. And or your son. These are my sunglasses. <laughs> this is my McDonald's cup. What? I would wear glasses to these. Look oh. all smart, but look at the Actually, reflection on these I things. I do have something <laughs> very cool to show you guys. This is a Pikachu from... What was the year? I was six years old. Recon, stop. A... No, no, no. It was a Pikachu oh, from no, 19, this is the last thing. 98. 1998. Okay. Yeah. That's the last shit It doesn't thing. work anymore. But it used to be a thing. Like, it has two metal things at the bottom. And it used to Batteries. be heat sent in. It would detect heat. So when you put two fingers on it, just on the side, the Pikachu face would light up red. I was like, yeah, I got this when I was six years old. So this thing is like, oh, that's fine. All right. That's the last of the show and tell. We're not doing this yeah. again. It's missing its tail. You guys, it's so He's old. my cock. <laughs> just like whip. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! What was that? I was thinking on Twitter, dude. Like, I have oh, a, I have a this big, is my kingdom. Big, no, well, that was funny, but I have a big pee pee, but I'm asexual, so or something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I have a big penis. Oh, Hold on. <laughs> I have a big pee pee, but I'm asexual, so all I use it for is peeing. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> just like what? But the kingdom come, that was good. That was fucking hilarious. No stop, stop. Recon, enough. No show and tell. We're done. This is a serious message. <laughs> no the more. Box of my goodies. Box of goodies. <laughs> this is a serious message. You say as I'm out here eating. This is a serious message. <laughs> wow. Did you can hear me chewing? You know. This is such a scuffed episode. Like, no, it's no, good. This is a great right. episode. This is a this is a wonderful episode. Plus, plus, like, aren't all our episodes scuffed anyway? Let's be real. Well, we don't sit and eat half the fucking time. I've eaten in like three episodes now, man. <laughs> Dude, we got no. We're sponsored Those by Mc... French... Noble. We're sponsored yeah, we're by spons McDonald's. Yeah, you're the one that says we're sponsored <laughs> by McDonald's. We just, exactly. we just be rude not to have McDonald's on the sh on the show, you know. You have to. What like, the you know... fuck did I do a competitive eating contest before fucking joining this shit? You have to make us so sit happy, and eat. Noble. <laughs> Look, Noble, you and I have two different uh, priorities, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Alright? These are simply you, built clearly. different. You clearly. don't... Noble, you clearly don't want to be seen eating on camera. I don't give a shit. I already look like ass. <laughs> so I'm just going to eat on camera anyway. Who gives a fuck? And I'm going to lick the salt off my fingers. <laughs> oh my goodness. The viewers do Because they don't want to hear you fucking... <laughs> they didn't hear me munching at all. I was watching my camera and I was watching my no, mic. I was just fucking time. hearing, hearing <laughs> all the time. Dude. What I wonder is if, if you worked at KFC or something and you were seen uh, like on stream or whatever eating McDonald's, is there a thing where like, they can fire you over there? Yes. Of oh, wait. <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> There's no way. Wait, what are you talking about? If you're because oh, I heard about that in the past, like some guy was fired because he was yeah. You can have like a non-competing, uh, like a non-competing clause on your contract. Like oh if, yeah, that's right. You, like if you were, you know, like I'm the KFC guy, and it's like, what the hell? This man's eating Mickey D's, and it's like, <laughs> fuck this guy, he's done. But it's like such a weird thing to get fired over. You go to the next job, and like, why did you get fired from your last job? I was like. I was, I was eating was live. <laughs> I was eating fucking. It's like, wait, wait, I was you're fired supposed over to... five chicken nuggets. That's and they're my... like, wait, you weren't supposed to eat on the job? No, my job is eating. I just <laughs> ate the wrong type of food. <laughs> oh, the doggo. The doggo makes uh, appearance. It looks so though. sad. It's Gala. Yes. <laughs> she's waiting for her walk outside. Yeah, she's like, the Noble, walk. hurry up, Noble. <laughs> you have responsibilities, Noble. Make me happy, Noble. <laughs> like 50 minutes until it's supposed to be walk time, so she's fine. <laughs> you got some McDonald's as well today. Oh, so she's all nugget. docile. <laughs> she's like, yes. <laughs> what do you I'm think happy, of them? but I could be happier. What do you if think you of them, more man? McDonald's? What do you think of the man there? Do you have any opinions on? Oh, Ian's good. frozen. What the heck? Is this? <laughs> oh, there we go. Dude, <laughs> so now we're back. Let it go. Let it go. There we go. I was frozen. Frozen with his beautiful smile on stream, it's fine. Stream? Got like his so many toys in his fucking room. We got the fucking <laughs> elephant. No, but the show the... and tell is over. Even yeah, if no, we're not allowed to show it. Yeah, no, yeah, no. Oh, the show this is and dog. tell. This is dog, yeah. Dog corner, dude. <laughs> we got the ball with the spikes on it. Is that for your cock and ball torture? Is that your dick I cage? Got, like, the, the, the ball with a this hole. This is my dog's okay. first toy. No, but why is there a hole in that ball, huh? <laughs> Why is there a hole in that wall? It's like a giant German Shepherd. What do you think? He's like, we don't talk about that hole. He's got a cocker spaniel. <laughs> Dude on that wall. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Hold on. Did you see that shit I put in the uh, oh, in the group well. chat? What's your, what thing? Don't tell. You talking about like it was a... I'm being taken away. No. It was a it was a screenshot. Uh, it was two screenshots of a tweet. One was like, uh, and it's even on my Twitter because it was just it was just too funny. <laughs> yeah, can you break that down? Like, I'm so confused by it. Like, is it just like I don't get it? Like, what was so funny about it? So uh, it's some guy he's it's some guy he tweets out. Uh, just saw a profile that had both minors do not interact DNI. Uh, and 16 years old. Like, it's someone who's, like, 16 years old on Twitter saying, minors, minors don't interact right. with me. It's like, <laughs> bro, what the fuck? Right. 
So then someone in the comments asks, what's DNI? It's like, what the hell does DNI stand for? And then someone replies, these nuts in your mouth. As in as one <laughs> word, and I was fucking losing it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it it was like, again. when did I take this? This was at 10, a, 10 in the evening. I think this was like, uh, this is either, it had to have been Friday. Yeah, it was Friday night. It was 10 in the evening. I was losing my mind. I was like, I'm ready to go to bed. <laughs> it's just like these nuts. Because I didn't know what DNI meant. I thought that was part of the joke. Yeah. No, it's uh, do not interact. Huh. Do not interact with me, Yeti. Okay. He's not. He's not a. He's not a miner, though. <laughs> hey, if I play Minecraft. Yeah. True. You know what? Yeah. I've yeah. seen him all dusted up before. I have. I used a jackhammer the other day, so I mean, I'm kind of a, kind of a miner. Yeah. Oh yeah, I guess, I guess uh, <laughs> it's settled. I guess it's settled. Then. Dude, I I no legit though. We had a tear a concrete slab up the other fucking day, and I like destroy. I had a pickaxe, bro. I was going, I was going sicko mode <laughs> on some concrete, wow. bro. Wow, wow. <laughs> I had my it's diamond pick out there. Just whack at some Netherite. <laughs> I never had the pleasure <laughs> of using a pickaxe in my life. I don't That's have good. Hmm. I've uh. I've had the pleasure Such of using a sledgehammer. Yeah, sledgehammer. Yeah. Oh yeah, cool. sledgehammer. Oh, what do we? Sledgehammer, uh, when we were, eggs, power tools. When, when we were like moving out of uh, Maryland, with the uh, like when I was like with my parents still, uh, my dad was like, "All right, well, this is like old furniture and like it's no good because it's like you know falling apart." He said, "Ian, go, go break it with a sledgehammer or something." I was like, "Got it." It's like don't have to tell me twice. Don't have to tell, don't yeah. have to tell me twice at all. So yeah. I remember you know, I, I... you know when your driveway gets all like iced over. Generally, you put like salt on it and it melts. Mm -hmm. You know, or you shovel it. We were like that would be too easy. So one year we got like a flamethrower. Flame yeah, we literally yeah. did. Flame <laughs> we got like the ghetto flamethrowers you buy at the store. I think it's not even meant to melt ice. It's meant for something else. It was so was bad. It the one from Elon Musk. No, <laughs> it was like a, this one you buy like it. Lowe's or something. I don't know. Lowe's Lowe. sold flamethrowers. I don't know. I just meant for not I thought, ice though. I thought you were just talking about like getting like a spray can or whatever and then like holding a no, lighter. No, it was legit. We had like a tank and like a nozzle and it shot flames Holy out. Holy shit. Most inefficient way of fucking getting rid of ice. I know. Well, <laughs> like, it like barely melted anything. <laughs> yeah, throw some salt on it, wait a couple of hours and whack it with a fucking with a, with a shovel or something. I know. Well, it's like a bucket of volcano. You gotta see around here. We're not used to snow. It snows like barely, like anything. <laughs> oh, well, that explains it. <laughs> like it'll flurry, and people are like, "School's closed." <laughs> it's like two flurries on the air. School's over. Shut it down. It's, it's like it's fucking. Done. Shut it down, dude. Two meters of fucking snow. It's like, oh, you still gotta go to school. Yeah. Think you're getting. Yeah. Think you're getting the day off? No. Mm -hmm. Getting to school. Not even close, baby. And not even close. Like you kids love snow. You love you play it in all the time. <laughs> Come on, Come on Go man. School. It's such Go a weird school. thing because like in Poland it's the same thing. Like oh, you can have two feet of snow outside your house. Like you're still expected to be in school. Like you you just go. You just don't have a choice. And here in the UK, it snows for like I don't know half an hour. Everything closes down. Tube stations close down. Traffic's. Just... Well, the subway I think would make sense, right? I mean, it's underground, it gets is, too cold, and you might slip on off the you know, of his ice matter. or something. Like, oh no, I slipped barely, onto the train tracks and died. It's barely <laughs> like, any kind of snow. Doing? It's like, here in the UK, people fucking, uh... are so fragile when it comes to snow. <laughs> <laughs> It'll never fucking... get old yet. <laughs> the thing is, just safety in general is just way over the roof over here. Man. Everyone's just super overprotected here in the UK. I'm not gonna say I hate it, but I hate it. <laughs> I'm just gonna move back to Poland, second nah. world country, <laughs> whatever. Nah, man. <laughs> not going back there. I, I would not have a job over there as a school teacher. That's for sure. I would need to spend like the next ten years in um, school again to get a degree to actually be able to teach. Over here, though, you don't really need that. You just need to have some work experience, and that's it. Hmm. You're good. That's what go. I hate about like, I wanna, I wanna like take that concept where it's like you have like. You're, you're, you have a degree, right? Mm. Or whatever. Yeah. So, like, I want to take that concept and, like, transfer it to, like, you know, EMS for me, right? I have my Maryland State card and I have a national card. Both say, yeah, he's an EMT. 
the national card is not a license to practice. It's just it's just like yeah, no, he's he knows what he's talking about. Like that's all that card is really. And it's annoying because it's like I can't like I I mean like I'll go to like some states even require it, but like it's not a license to practice. Like they want you to be on the national registry, but like it's not a license to practice. And it's just like, why? You know, <laughs> like what's the point? Like um, and like I could go out west, and they might be like, and it, it, it's different for each state because I think Florida doesn't even take like of you, course you have to just I think <laughs> Florida is just straight up like. Florida straight up just like, nah, dude. You have to take the course again. Like, we don't care if you have the, you don't, we don't care if you have the license in another state. Oh, I like, thought you were gonna say Florida was super lenient and be like, we don't care that if you have any license. No, no. As far as, far as <laughs> I know, as far as I know, like Florida's like, no, dude. You got to take the course in Florida, and that's like that's that. Uh... But I have no idea. But like, it's just it's just annoying, like having the national card, and it's almost useless. Like, it's not useless, but it's like, mm. why do I have this? <laughs> Another other than like a, other than like a slight flex or whatever, like it, it's like a it's like a it's like a resume builder. It's like yeah, I got the national registry, cool. The <laughs> thing I wish uh, didn't exist is the whole concept of you have to have a piece of paper that tells you you can do a specific job, even though well... you can have like, ten experience in that job already, you know. But you can't actually do that job legally unless you have um, a piece of paper well, that tells you you can do I it. I would say it depends on the profession, because I would like a medical professional to have a paper saying, yeah. Oh, yeah, they, yeah, like, yeah, they definitely. definitely. For some jobs, you definitely need it. But, for yeah, example... For, for some, you um, definitely need it. But... Like, for teaching, for example, because I wanted to apply for, like, a teaching job, like, you know, be in a public school and, like, teach art, for example. That's my dream job, is to teach art in a public school. and Because right. it's, it's fun. Like, it's a fun subject to teach. But in order to do that, you need to have, like four years of practice like someone needs to tell you oh yeah this is how you teach like this is um what you need to do like all the procedure and all that crap right but that doesn't make you a good teacher someone can go through that course do the four years of um learning and about still that be a shit teacher. and still be a shit teacher yeah because they don't know how to interact with students they don't know how to actually get the classroom to listen to them all of that right. and i had like the worst experiences when i when i was in school back in the day my teachers were absolute garbage teachers like no no one took them seriously and they were just pretty much just made fun of them and i mean it was just depressing really <laughs> to be right. taught by them because like we didn't learn shit <laughs> by the way didn't like, learn shit <laughs> like fuck all like we had some good teachers like our math teachers were good my english teachers were good art teachers terrible our sports teachers terrible like all the subjects that you'd think oh yeah someone would know what they're talking about because it's a fun subject to teach but no nah, it's History teachers were shared geography teachers. I don't even remember the name of because it was so forgettable. It's like they practically. Didn't I am exist. a flat Earth geography teacher. <laughs> <laughs> you put down your job application. Like, yeah, this, this I'm teaching guy. flat Earth class. I um, I'm on Twitter right, and just looking at something like Jen retweeted, and uh, it's basically of this guy who streamed Overwatch for 26 hours straight. <laughs> I'm just okay. like, how the fuck can you do that to yourself, man? <laughs> like, insanity is incarnate, man. Holy like, shit. 26 hours of fucking <laughs> Overwatch <laughs> is actually kind of... I got on a PC recently, and it's actually... It's fun if you have people. If he was by himself, I don't know how he did it. But, like, if he had some friends to play with, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Because playing oh, with friends one of those games. Great. It's one of those games that was like really, really fun at the beginning because like no one really knew what they were doing. But as soon as people like realized, oh yeah, this is how you play this character, and this is the only way to play that character. And if you play against that character, it's like this is exactly what you do. Like people just learn all the little tricks against like every single it a little bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And now it's just like it's pretty much scripted. It's like oh yeah, this is the team we're gonna be doing. This is the only team we're gonna be doing for the rest of the game. You know, like nothing. I want to like Overwatch, but I just I can't get into it because it got too competitive. It's... It's, it's not so... casual anymore. Yeah. I can't even play quick play without some freak, like... <laughs> exactly. Without... And just, thing is... That's, how, that's all I gotta say. Like, I can't play quick play without some freak. Quick like, play is the only thing ever When uh, Overwatch came out, right? And uh, Yeti and a friend of ours was, like, really into it. And, like, it was me and Caleb who were, like, trying to learn the game. And we go... And this friend of ours, he goes, oh, I don't want to tell you guys what to pick and stuff like that. So we're like, okay. So we pick like oh, DPS yeah. things. And oh he's my like, gosh. <laughs> and he's like, we need a tank. And I'm like, uh, you I'm don't know what the fuck it's <laughs> what, <the> fuck? <laughs> like, what is wrong with you? It's like, I'm not going to tell you what to pick, but whatever character you just picked, don't pick that one. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, it, <laughs> and I'm just like, oh, 
Like, but it's super, like, quiet and scary. Well, now they have a system in place, which will change with the second game. So mm. they have a thing now where you have to queue with a role. Like, they don't have defense characters anymore. They just have tank damage and healer. And so it's basically there's two per team now. So you have to queue. Yeah. Either you queue in damage, you queue in healer. I mean, you could like, or you can queue in all three, but you'll probably get healer because no one wants to play healer. But um, funny enough, so healer now, was like my was my main thing. I, love I know I love Moira so much, but like in Overwatch two, they're gonna do it. So there's one tank. It's five. It's five v five instead of six v six. So mm. I don't know. That's Very another thing. I don't understand why they would go in that direction. I hate when games do that. Um. What was it called Destiny when Destiny beta Destiny first came when, out? when Destiny went four v four, it's like what the yeah. fuck are you guys doing? The thing is, like, oh yeah, the maps were made for four v four, but Destiny was never known as a four v four game. Destiny was like... never a four v four game. It was three v three and six v six, and like exactly. that that works really well. But... It's like I don't know why games do that. It's like no one's asking for it. What kind of fan just said, <laughs> "Oh, I wish we had a five v five or six v six"? No, it's not no one fans thing. Is it just they just it's like they want to shake shit up, like. Right. Yeah, but well, don't I mean, shake it, anything up if it's, it's gonna cool. ruin no, the no, game. No, no, hold on, hold on. It's okay to shake things up, but it's like, it's a, it's, it's not okay to like keep it going if it like just straight up doesn't work. Like four v four has never really worked in Destiny, and then like they just kept it for a whole year, and the, and then like they eventually switched to sixes, and it's like, bro, I just want to play sixes and threes. <laughs> well, they're weird, so. That's the way it is. They weird. Weird. Yeah, four v four just weird. never. It just does, like it's such an odd number to use because it's like oh there's three different classes like oh yeah but we yeah. have four people to use like huh, that's kind of odd weird maybe they were yeah. thinking about making it like the fourth class or something I don't know <laughs> the fourth class which they did have but yeah it's a little bit I'm too late in the uh, like four years later <laughs> the fucking Titan lock <laughs> the Titan lock I thought it was it like Beastmaster or something was the fourth one I don't even know. <laughs> Are you thinking about fucking Outriders? <laughs> oh, I don't fucking know. That's probably Outriders, yeah. <laughs> Same game, right? Right. There was a... Outriders uh... lived for a day and then got quiet. Destiny um... Killer, by the way. Yeah, Destiny Killer. Uh, any game that says Killer in the title, is all... it always kills it's itself. It's never. Never kills. There was a... never what was that game called? Like, Haze? And it was like, the Halo Killer. It's the Halo Killer. And it was, like, it was so bad. <laughs> yeah. They're like, uh, what's the what's another one? What was it Lawbreakers? They're like, this is gonna shake things up. <laughs> and then it's like, Not Lawbreakers who? <laughs> it looked like a cool game too, but it just. It's like if you're trying to copy a certain game, it's like, and you don't do a good job, and people don't know about your game, like it's never gonna get popular. No one's gonna there go from the a... game that they already love to a game that just came out of nowhere and trying to copy the game that you already love. It's like. Hmm. Yeah, it's not there. There was a the right thing to do. There was a game that was like Portal plus Halo or whatever. Oh that, yeah, like, the beta's coming out for that soon. Beta's coming out for that soon. Okay. They changed the art style though. It doesn't look like Halo much anymore. No. Yeah, I forget what that was called. Like Slipstream. Have you guys seen the Chinese Slipstream. post stuff or a movie they are making, and they literally use the cover art from Halo Four. Like they literally have Master Chief from Halo Four in the cover art. Wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> no way. Um, I don't remember what it was called, but it was like a Chinese movie that they're making, and it's like an apocalyptic movie, and they literally, quite literally copied, copied and pasted the Master Chief from the Halo 4 cover. No, yeah, a lot of, like, a lot of, like, yeah. small, Chinese. fucking crappy, like, little shiny studios do that. Like, they copied, like, a lot of shit, and they, you know, put it on their game. Well. Chinese movie. Master Chief. Definitely oh, be I see it. Trailer. New yeah. Chinese <laughs> sci-fi film called can't pronounce. Released its promotional movie push this week. Seems to take inspiration from Halo, and it's just like, yeah, it's his inspiration, but it quite. Oh, legit, share, share your screen. Share your screen, please. Yeah, I hold on. See this. It's straight up Master Chief. Like it looks nothing like anything else other than Master Chief. Because <laughs> I think I, I think I have it here. Yeah. Yeah. What look the? at it. <laughs> totally the chief. Can we yeah. click on the um? Yeah, let's not go to that website. That Reddit. <laughs> <laughs> Open image and new tab. There we go. Gonna zoom That's in. That's one hundred percent the chief, dude. The shoulder. It's like the visor. It's like, dude. That's because copyright like laws are so sketchy in uh, China. Right. Mm. 
unstoppable. Like you can tell he's had, he has his frost effects in the back as well and everything. He's holding what looks like a sky. Look up, uh, look no, up. No, it's an cars. AR. Is it? Cars Chinese knockoff. Gonzo. All right. Cars Chinese knockoff? Yeah. Oh, right, there we'll you go. Oh, well. No. No. Oh, hold on a second. I can see yeah. you in the top right. It was a... <laughs> there they are. Oh my god. <laughs> Lord have mercy. <laughs> what is this? Why does it look... It looks like if cars made... But some of those cars by... are actually in like cars. <laughs> yeah, the movie, that though. guy, <laughs> like that that guy, guy on the right is in, in there. Cars. I don't know about the guy on the left, but... No, the guy... The on Autobots. The... <laughs> <laughs> the yeah. <laughs> No, the car on the left, the red car on the left, looks like Sully from Monsters Inc. I don't know why. I just... Sully. Because it's the same like fucking studio that's producing these movies. Or saw with your references. Dude. Oh. <laughs> Can we talk yeah, about how Cars, cars Two is the best scared. Cars movie in the? Because in, they in die. The <laughs> dude, it's not even that. It's just like it's like actually it's intense, dude. <laughs> I'll be honest, I have not watched any Cars movie other than Cars. We're seeing this movie, <laughs> the little cars, the seven. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. This is Seven. crazy. I don't, so, I'll look I at don't see the first six. Alpha <laughs> Omega movies. No, dude, that there's... movie was some hot dog water. Dude, there's like 5,000 of these movies. Hold on. 5,000 of them. Yeah, like what the hell? What is... I've never even heard of this thing. Like, You've never heard of it? Dude, it was never. like the furry, it was the furry like <laughs> dreamscape. Oh, there they are. Like on the second like row. Eight movie collection. You can see them all. Oh yeah, what down here. Fuck? Yeah, Link. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> this is the Alpha where, Omega verse, dude. It's like where was this made? Furry is this dream. an American it's, film? Yeah. yeah, it was American. Yeah, and it's just like yo. Alpha Omega. Why? And then we have, and then she's all sexy in that one. Then they have Cubs, and then the Legend of the Sawtooth Cave Family Vacation Dino. Of course, that's when you bring in dinosaurs. That's how you know you're running out of ideas. AKA Ice yeah. Age. Um, the oh, big furries, wow. the big furries. the oh, bear God. kingdom, and then three movie pack. This person, why is this person? Oh, there's a DS game too. DS <laughs> <game>. shout out. <laughs> a movie based on the hit movie or a novel. Sorry, I should say a movie based on the hit movie. A novel. This is the book. <laughs> oh Wait, Justin Long. No, Justin Long is the voice of it. If that, oh my god. <laughs> Marshall and Patty save the day, Dang. guys. Whoa, dude. I can't I believe know, Justin like... Long is the voice of that dog or that wolf. That I don't is... think he's the voice of that. No, of Humphrey. I think they're talking about the ducks. I think they're talking about the ducks. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Look it up. Look it up. Humphrey. Yeah, he's the expert. Humphrey. Alpha. How do you know? Omega. Yeah, I told you. It's this guy. <laughs> He's so bad. Dude. Oh my fucking god. And it's just like Ju Justin. Justin Bieber. Yeah. Justin Long. I can't believe this. Like, I get falling oh so low. <laughs> dude, you gotta get those dollars, man. <sighs> dude. I can't. I can't believe I've never heard of that film. It's too bad. <laughs> never. You know. Alright, we I, I, we gotta end it after that, dude. That's too much. <laughs> that's, that's too scary. God. Sponsored by McDonald's. McDonald's. Sponsored by Alpha yeah. Omega 4D in theaters next week. McDonald's Heavy Meals tie-in. <laughs> you guys should drink your McDonald's cups at the same time. I didn't get a straw with my McDonald's. Oh just... shit! He's a big boy. Can we get like oh, a freeze fuck. frame, like a like a brand deal? Uh, oh, oh, he's shit. gonna do that for the thumbnail. He's gonna be just yeah, pause it right there. There you go. There you go. There you go. Hold it. Hold it. There you go. Hold it. Hold it. There you go. No, get more of your body so it's not cut off. Like. Take off your shirt! <laughs> Don't take <laughs> off your shirt. <laughs> Ian, you do it too. Like, do a... Uh, make the, no, Wait, you're not in the it, camera. Like, there you go. Go. There you go. Do you want me to take the thing off and... Just be like... like the... I don't know, bro. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Uh, I had to do a little wink. Hey, give me one of those. <laughs> wink. Like, or just wink, like... Oh, what the fuck is this shit? 
order for because it's, it's the Chinese so virus. Yeah, it's coming back. <laughs> All right. I, how how do I make the camera work? <laughs> oh, <laughs> fucking focus, you piece of shit. There, maybe. There All right, gamers. And it's like, is this working? Is this on? Is it working? On? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Iron Man's back. Oh, <laughs> oh fuck! Cameo. Return of the run, man. All right, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. We will see you. Do 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 do.